Hi, this is Abhishek and welcome to this new learning initiative from IntelSense. Today I will take you through a very basic and quick introduction to technical analysis for investors. The intent for this particular video and subsequent videos is going to be to cover the basics of different investment aspects, whether it's fundamental analysis, technical analysis, quantitative analysis, or even personal finance. I will try to keep these videos between 10 to 20 minutes. So that's easy for people to go through topic by topic. So having said that, let's quickly jump in. So what is technical analysis? Technical analysis ultimately is the study of price and volume of a stock or an index. Now I will be using the word stock and index interchangeably during this discussion. At the heart of technical analysis, what we are trying to do is we are trying to understand the crowd psychology. What is it that the aggregation of people who are participants in the market wanting to do? People can have basically three views on the market. You can be either bullish, you can be bearish, or you could be neutral. But mind you, a transaction which is at the heart of any system or heart of any market is taken place by people who is on completely opposite sides of a particular trade. So if I am buying a stock, I will be bullish on it. That is the only reason for me to buy if the price I am expecting the price to go up. Now, when a transaction happens, the guy who's selling to me must be having an opposite view of uh, from what I have. So he must be expecting either that the price will not rise. So he could be neutral or he expects the price to fall. So he could be bearish. The market is wonderful because it allows for people to have different viewpoints come together and exchange their exchange their products in terms of stocks at a particular price at a particular time. Now, when you are looking at a particular transaction or when you are looking at a particular stock, there are only five parameters that are there in that stock on a particular period. So if, if you consider one day to be a period, there is a high price, there's a low price. There's a price at which the stock, stock opens on that day and the price at which it closes. And you also have the total volume, the number of shares that were transacted in the stock. So these are the core parameters, the fundamental parameters of technical analysis. And the core underlying philosophy of technical analysis is that price is supreme that price discounts everything, right? There is all the information that you need about a particular stock is there in the price, right? Uh, the reason why we need to understand technical analysis is it helps us understand or gauge the market dynamics and what is the underlying psychology of the market at any point in time. So is the market bullish? Is it bearish? Are we in neutral territory? What is it that the aggregation of participants in the market? So all the participants combined together, what do they think about what the market is, uh, you know, how the market is behaving? The other interesting aspect of technical analysis is that in a market, in a very shallow market like India, right, where the number of stocks with a uh, lot of depth is very less, you can actually see the footprint of big institutional buying and selling or big investors buying and selling 
much before they get announced on the exchanges or they are flashed on the breaking news of news channels. And the reason for this is very simple, right? If an investor, if it's a, let's say an institution, uh, a pension fund or a insurance company or a large mutual fund wants to buy your stock and they are buying say 10 lakh shares of a particular company. Before the news comes out, you know, news probably will come out after a few days uh, when they notify the exchanges. But it is immediately visible to people who are observing the markets through the demand and supply or through the number of uh, you know shares that are being traded. So whether you are buying or selling 100 shares or you are buying or selling 10 lakh shares, all of that are getting reflected in the charts in the market. So that is why if you use fundamental analysis for studying the individual company or the sector and you study technical analysis to understand what the market environment is like and use and combine these two analysis, it will probably work out better for you. It's also useful for you know, in, in companies where fundamental information is very constrained. There are a lot of companies in India uh, who, who just write a two, three page uh, management discussion and analysis in their annual reports and more often than not copy paste the same content for many years. And then other than that, you have no other information. They don't do con calls, they don't do analyst meets, nothing, no other information in the public domain. Typically, these are small, uh, you know, micro cap or small cap companies, even some mid cap companies are also like that. So in those cases, whatever fundamental information you have, you can uh, augment that with technical information that is available from the market. Now, another point that we have to all remember is it is technical analysis right? It is not a forecasting tool. Yes, you can look at past performance, past trends and do some bit of forecasting. But that forecasting is probabilistic in nature. There's a certain probability of that forecast coming true. Like in any other event in life, right? It's the same for fundamental analysis. You do a lot of study about a company. Does that doesn't mean that it, you will be hundred percent correct in terms of predicting what other what the earnings are going to be in the next quarter or next year or next five years. So exactly similarly in technical analysis, you can look at past trends, look at what is happening today, and have a guesstimate in terms of what is likely to happen tomorrow based on certain you know patterns that keep recurring uh, in the technical analysis world but doesn't mean that it is going to be foolproof so whenever you are looking at technical analysis one uh, the first thing that you have to understand or first thing you have to keep in mind is what is my time frame right typically for traders the time frame tends to be very short. So there are intraday traders who look at one minute charts, three minute charts, five minute charts, hourly charts, or people who look at end of day charts, right? One day charts. For longer term investors, so for people like me, my sweet spot is to look at weekly charts or monthly charts, where you're looking at a much longer time frame. And the longer time frame you have, the less random the price movements because the, if you look at a one minute chart, the price action is going to be a lot more random than if you are looking at a weekly chart. Because what is happening is the price over a period of a week gets chance to you know, find out its levels. The next important thing that we look at when, you're, when we are studying technical analysis is chart patterns. So basic things like supports, resistances, trend lines, and chart patterns like, you know, whether it, you have a breakout, 
whether there is a continuation pattern so if there is a trend if is there a pattern which uh, tells us that this trend is going to continue or is there a pattern which tells us that this trend is most likely to reverse so th these are things that we look for when we are looking at a chart pattern now a pattern is something which has hap which has been happening many many times over you know a very long period of some so technical analysis has been uh, on for many years probably more than 100 years and these patterns keep recurring the reason they keep recurring is because human psychology does not change market participants do not change the physical people may change but a new person comes in with the same set of uh, fear and greed and other emotions so like i said in the beginning technical analysis is a way of analyzing emotional behavior of the crowd the third important thing that we you know do when we are doing technical analysis is to look at indicators now indicators are nothing but using mathematical or statistical formula and creating you know creating uh, analytical tools that will help us understand the behavior of price and volume so think simple you know simple things like moving averages rsi you know relative strength there are a lot of such uh, indicators and you can there actually there are thousands of indicators and you can create your own indicator for analyzing the market you do not need any software as such so there were times when people uh, used to learn things like a met, things like tools like metastock or ami broker or spider or such tools uh, today a lot of uh, charting software is available or charting tools are available on the internet for free and some of these tools are really really good for example i use uh, i i i use i used to use metastock but now pretty much i have moved on to using trading view or investing.com so investing.com uses the charts uh, from trading view uh, fantastic uh, uh, system and i also use charting so charting uh, also gives an additional feature of using uh, or creating screeners exactly like we do in fundamentals we use screener dot in it's uh, charting has a very similar feature where you can create your custom scans or custom screeners for uh, selecting companies based on technical parameters so using a, i i personally use a combination of charting and investing dot com for most of the technical analysis that i do i've given uh, links to two books or uh, not links names of two books i have uh, purposely left out uh, what is considered to be the bible which is edward and maggie's book uh, i've given john murphy and martin pring primarily because both of them uh, have written their books in a very simple language uh, very clear to understand charts and they've covered the entire gamut of uh, technical analysis that is required to begin with so both of them uh, both of these books are very very good even the tutorials that are available on investopedia or uh, even i think uh, zeroda university has a very very good uh, uh, technical analysis tutorial so those are good places to get started uh, but the most important thing about uh, any of these kinds of analysis is uh, doing the actual work right so what happens is the more charts you see the more your eyes get tuned into identifying patterns which are uh, the most critical on a chart what happens uh, in the beginning when you're you know starting to look at charts is you will find patterns everywhere right and you in one chart you will find five patterns but the point is that you have to there will be a lot of questions lot of doubts and the more you you keep doing it more you keep revisit revisiting those charts you will start to get an idea of which patterns 
or what kind of formations lead to what kind of events subsequently. So uh, like in everything in life, practice uh, makes you perfect even in technical analysis. Thank you for uh, listening to me for today and I will come back to you with more lessons on this topic and other topics in the near future. Thank you.